Hello friends, today we are going to do quick revision of chapter number 7, coordinate geometry. So one by one I will explain you all the formulas and then we will find out the sums from NCRT textbook which are important and how you can solve that. So let us start with our first formula that is distance formula. If you want to find the distance of any two coordinate on the Cartesian plane or on, on coordinate geometry means suppose this is your x-axis and y-axis and two points are given on that plane and they they if they had given you the coordinates of this two point then you can find out the distance between these two coordinates so how that we can find out we can find out the distance between these two with the distance formula that is under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so with the help of this we can find out the distance of these two you have to take this as x1 you have to take this as y1 this will be your x2 this will be your y2 now put it put up all the values in this 4 minus 2 whole square plus 1 minus 3 whole square so you will get 4 minus 2, 2 square plus 1 minus 2, 1 minus 3, minus 2 square. So this will become 4 plus 4. So under root 8. So under root 8 is 2 root 2. So this way you can find out the distance of any two coordinate. In your first exercise, means in exercise 7.1, you have to use this concept only. But by using this concept, you have to solve many different types of questions that I am going to tell you what you have to do. Look here. This is your NCRT textbook and this is your exercise 7.1. So what way they are in this exercise first question they are telling you to find out the distance by the same formula that we had solved that we have to use. In second question also they told you to find out the distance formula that um, so find out the distance with the distance formula so you have to use that determine if the points these are collinear or not here in this exercise you can find out suppose this is a b and c first you have to find out the distance of a b then you have to find out the distance of a c then you have to find out the distance of a c if the sum of any two distance is equal to the third one then we can say that the points are collinear or in 7.3 again if they ask you this sum in 7.3 then in, there you are having formula of area of triangle if you find out the area of these three coordinates or the area of triangle formed by these three coordinate and if that area is zero then also you can say the points are collinear but according to this exercise you have to find out the distance a b b c and then a c and if the sum of any two is equal to the third one then you can say the points are collinear check whether this, these are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so just you have to find out again a b b c and a c if any two distance are equal if a b is equal to a c or b c then you can say two sides are equal so it's it is forming an isosceles triangle now look here in classroom four friends are sitting and they told you that find out whether it is a square or not so with the distance formula first you have to find out the distance of all these four but here you should know all the properties of square rectangle parallelogram rhombus because they can ask you which figure is this so, so for that you should know all the properties of uh, quadrilaterals so look here if i will find all the four side and if all the four sides are equal Directly I cannot say that it is a square because it can be rhombus also. If all the four sides are equal and if two diagonals are also equal with each other. So we can say that that quadrilateral is a square. So you should know all the properties of all the different quadrilaterals. Then and only then you can solve this. Now again name the types of quadrilateral. Here also you have to find out A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A and the diagonals also. And then if uh, according to the sides are equal or opposite sides are equal you can say it is a rhom rhombus parallelogram or so for that first you should know all the properties of different type of coordinate now find the point on x-axis which is equidistance from 2 minus 5 and minus 2. means 
a point is there on x axis look here i am showing making a figure so that you come to know this is your axis and this is your x axis this is y axis and if any point is there on x axis and they are telling that two points are equidistant from this okay this and this generally i had seen many times students are taking this as midpoint no this is not the midpoint suppose this is a b and this is b now the coordinate of this is given to us that is 2 and minus 5 minus 2 and 9 and the coordinate of this they had not given but it is lying on x axis so directly we can say the y coordinate will be 0 and suppose this as a now you can you have to use pa equals to pb so with again distance formula you have to keep this distance formula on both the side this root root will get cancelled and you have to just find out the numbers and squaring and what you had done here you have to do on this side and then the same thing you have to do on this side also and then like terms you have to take on one side and you can find the value of a so but you have to keep in mind that you have to use this you have to take this distance equals to this distance and keep them like this and then you have to solve this now moving towards the next question find the value of y for which the distance between the points p 2 comma 3 q 10 comma y is 10 units so here they had given you the distance and they told you to find out this y2 right so here they had given y so you have to take y only so again the distance same distance formula you have to put and on the place of distance you have to take 10 units and then you can solve this easily but you have to keep in mind again the same thing if q is equidistant from p and r find the values of x also again pq equals to pr and you have to keep them on both the side and you have to solve that now find the relationship between x and y such that x comma y is equidistant again take this as p this is a this is b and pa equals to b pb you have to keep on both the side and you have to solve that but here you will not get the value of x and y why here in previous questions only one variable was unknown and in this question two variables are unknown unknown so you will not get directly the answer so what you have to do you have to keep that as linear equation with two variable only so they had told you to find out the relationship not the answer so you will get a linear equation with two variable that is your answer so that you have to keep in mind now moving towards our next formula that is section formula what is section formula? look suppose you are having two coordinates right so what you have to do and take it as c take it as b and one more coordinate is lying between them this is your coordinate p suppose this coordinate is 4 comma minus 3 and this coordinate is 8 comma 5 and you want to find out the coordinate of p, point p but either you should know the ratio in which the p is dividing line segment cb and suppose if p is dividing this line segment in the ratio of 3 is to 1 then you can find out the coordinate of this or if they they are giving you the coordinate and they tell you to find out the ratio you can find out the ratio both you can find out either they will give you this you can find out the ratio either they will give you ratio you can find out the coordinate so for that you have to use section formula section formula that is x equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 and y equals to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 here you will get x and y separately with this formula you will get x and y separately so that you have to keep in mind and th that is very useful also because sometimes um, from these two coordinate they can give you any one if they are giving you this then with the help of this you can find out the ratio means with the help of y you can find out the ratio and keep that ratio in this x uh, formula and you will get the value of x so out of these two if you are having any one also then also you can find out the ratio and with the help of that ratio you can find out the another one also and this is your formula for finding this ratio or this coordinate that this formula is called section formula one more formula midpoint if they are telling that you have to find out the midpoint of any two coordinates 
so the ratio will be 1 is to 1 so directly when 1 is to 1 is there they had made this formula shorter and they told that for finding the midpoint or the coordinate of midpoint directly x1 plus x2 by 2 that is x equals to and y equals to y1 plus y2 by 2 when midpoint is given to you at that time directly you can use this formula and this is actually the short form of this section formula that you will come to know after if you will solve this you will come to know why this is now let us start in NCRT how they had done this so exercise 7.2 Find the coordinates of the point which divides the joints of minus 1, 7 and 4 in the ratio. Look here, same thing. Ratio is given to you and they told you to find out the coordinate. So x you will get separately in first formula and y in separately in second formula. Now find the coordinate of the point of trisection of the line segment joining. So trisection is given to you. Look here, I am telling you what you have to do. This is your line and trisection means dividing the line in three equal parts these are three equal parts so you will get two coordinate between them this is your ab and two coordinate you can find this coordinate so the ratio will be one is to two because this one part and here two parts so the ratio will be one is to two and for q again this side two part is there so the ratio will be two is to one now with the same section formula you can solve find, first you have to find out P and then with the same formula you, you have to find out Q so two separate sum you can say you have to do again the same things for spot the activities on second line one girl is running and she runs one by fourth part so 100 per 100 meter is there and 100 one fourth part so one fourth of 100 that will be 25 so second line and 25 so 2 comma 25 will be the coordinate of this and 8 comma 1 fifth part of 100 that is 8 comma 1 by 20 now they told you to find out the distance between these two that you can find out with the distance formula and they told you to find out the midpoint so you can find out the midpoint also by directly the midpoint formula also now moving towards the next question again now here they had given the coordinate and they told you to find out the ratio that also you can do in, with the same formula find the ratio in which this a and B divides by the X axis again X axis I told you in when I was explaining here they told you that X axis is there so Y coordinate will be 0 Y coordinate is 0 so when you put these numbers in Y formula and then you will get the ratio M1 M2 from this Y and with the help of that M1 M2 you can find out the X also here but you have to keep in mind that whenever it is intersecting on x axis you have to take y0 if it is intersecting at y axis you have to take x as 0 so with the help of that x0 or y0 you can find out the ratio and keep it in the another one now this is one of the most important question i had told you in my important question theory also that if these are the four coordinates that are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order find x and y generally what students are doing here in this question look here in this question they are forming a parallelogram and they are finding the distance of opposite side but here two variables are unknown so with the help of distance formula you are not going to get the answer here you don't have to use this you have to here you have to use the midpoint formula we know in parallelogram the diagonals are bisecting each other so first you have to find out the midpoint of this coordinate you will get x and y again the midpoint of this this or uh, this line and both you have to compare the x of both the midpoint and y of both the midpoint and you will get the value of this body so that you have to keep in mind with the help of this only you can find out if you are using distance formula of opposite side and you are not going to get the answer for this sixth question this is one of the most important question asked in many times in board examination now coordinate uh, diameter is there so again same thing they told you that center point is given to you and coordinate of this is given to you and coordinate and they told you to find out this this is x1 y1 so you have to find out x1 y1 this will be your x y and this will become x2 y2 so again suction formula and you can find out this or midpoint formula with the help of midpoint formula also you can find out this 
now moving towards the eighth question again the ratio is ap is to 3 by equals to 3 by 7 ab but in when if this is also most important question but here we want ap is to pb as pb is in the center but they had given ap equals to 3 by 7 ab so what we have to do we have to take the 7 here 7 ap equals to 3 ab and then you can elaborate a instead of ab you can put ap plus pb and you have to solve this take this ap on the other side what will happen 7 ap equals to 3 ap plus 3 pb i am taking this 3 ap on this side and 3 pb will remain here so 4 ap equals to 3 pb so ap by pb will be equals to 3 by 4 so the ratio will be 3 is to 4 now generally i have seen student are taking 3 is to 7 and solving this sum so please be careful for that again 4 coordinates find the coordinate of the feet divide the life segment 4 equal parts first we had done 3 equal parts now we have to make it 4 equal parts so 3 points will come in between 1 part 2 parts so here you have to find out 3 coordinates and the fifth one find the area of rhombus if the vertices are taken in order so here they had given you the 4 coordinates and they told you to find out the area of rhombus so there are many methods but they had told you area of rhombus equals to half into product of diagonal so look here what you have to do you have to find out this distance and this 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 will become d1 and this will become d2 and we know the area of rhombus equals to half into d1 into d2 product of diagonal now keep that d1 and d2 here and try to solve this so this way you can solve this sum thank you so much for watching my video i am going to explain the uh, area part in my next video thank you so much